I'm making eggplant parm and I wanna show you how I do it. So I've got an eggplant and I sliced it pretty thin, put salt on it, left it on my paper towels just to pull out the moisture. So what I'm doing now with another paper towel is just patting that dry. And then I've got a dredging station here. Flour, eggs, breadcrumbs. I'm gonna do all of those. Then we'll go over to the stove and I'll show you what I do next. Now there's a bunch of different ways that people you know, make their eggplant. I'd love to hear how you do it. Um, I've done it sometimes in the oven. I don't, I don't mind doing that either. But um, today I chose to actually peel the eggplant. Sometimes I find the skin's a little bitter, so I just peel it. So flour, egg, into the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna do this for every piece. And then put them over here on my, my little staging area. So we'll do another one and then I will show you. So it doesn't have to be, you just want them coated like that. You want them lightly coated. They don't have to be a heavy coating. Then when you go in your egg and your breadcrumbs, that's where you really get the nice combination of everything. There we go. Back in the breadcrumbs. I'll show you what that looks like. That's what you're looking for. And I will be back when these are all ready to go into the frying pan. All right, I got the last of the eggplant coming out. I did exactly two minutes on each side and it was a mixture of olive oil and vegetable oils because so uh, it didn't smoke. I'm gonna show you what these look like. Gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go uh, set up for us to put it all together. We'll get back together in a minute. Okay, we're ready to put this all together. Got my eggplant. I got my sauce. I did a nice meat sauce yesterday I'm gonna use. I've got mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese. That was the oven. Just telling me that it's heated up to, I'm doing it at 400 degrees. So what I'm gonna do, I got my casserole. I did spray it with a little nonstick, but you could just sort of rub some oil on there. I like to just get some sauce on the bottom, get one layer in there. Coat that bottom. Then we're gonna start assembling the eggplant because we wanna create layers. Once I get this in, I put a little bit more sauce and then the mozzarella and the Parmesan. Some people just put the mozzarella right on top. I like to do it this way. That's our next layer. Look at this, how beautiful it's coming, you guys. I'm gonna finish this one up. I'm gonna have a couple more to put on top. This is gonna make a really nice meal. All right, mozzarella, one hand, Parmesan in the other. I'm gonna take my last couple pieces. And you'll notice I went different directions. I like it to bake that way so when I cut it, it holds to be together better. All right, final layer of sauce. This is the meat sauce, and then I've just got some plain tomato sauce that I'm gonna uh, put over here. Parmesan. And then this is where I really liked, I personally like to put a lot of mozzarella at this layer. It's looking great, isn't it? A little bit of plain sauce. I'm just gonna add a little bit in here for moisture so when it's cooking, it's going to, you know, bubble up and help finish cooking that. I like to do 400 degrees, 35 minutes with it covered. Then I'll uncover it and cook it a few more minutes just to brown the top. That is my eggplant parmesan. I hope you try this. If you'd like the recipe, then go to Chef John in the kitchen and on YouTube. Go to YouTube, Chef John in the kitchen. Under the description, click on more and the recipes are there. Also, if you like this video and you'd like to see more, please give it a thumbs up and share it on Facebook.